Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with the six month roundup. Can you believe we're halfway through 2023? I'm just sitting there going, yeah. And uh, time has passed so quickly. So um, today I'm actually doing a drugstore roundup because the drugstore is what I feel just sort of exploded. Um, and so uh, the ColourPop brought um, all of their, um, well, all these new palettes into Target. And they also brought a whole bunch of, um, let's see, a blush, a whole bunch of new blushes, a whole collection of new blushes. There was a whole new launch as far as We Love Revolution goes. Um, so I guess I will just go ahead and get started and we might as well start with ColourPop. And again, this is all going to be drugstore. So um, what I tried to do with ColourPop was to like one nine pan palette a month. And um, so I would be over lurk lurking in uh, Target to go ahead and find one. And I found several, and I found some really good ones. Peach Out is wonderful, and um, I was replacing a palette there. Uh, the Vibe Check one is also a really pretty, um, it's more of a purple based in red kind of uh, palette, and it has some pink in there too, but really, really pretty. Uh, this Forever Floral is really pretty. It has a mixture of some peach um, and then some rose colors in there, so it's really pretty. An un unexpected favorite was Super Bloom, and this has a whole bunch of greens based on gray. And oh, there went my packaging. Um, so yeah, this has a whole bunch of greens based on gray on that one. And then um, this Truly Iconic, which is just a fun everyday palette. It has a whole bunch of cute, um, actually really fun shimmer shades in it. So it's a palette where if you just want to go ahead and do like an all shimmery look, it turns out really fun doing that. Uh, Fresh Greens is my newest one that I just picked up. And so this one has... Um, whole bunch of grassy greens in it. It's really pretty. Uh, and it has uh, some grays in it as well. So or they're probably more pewter, but really pretty look there. Um, let's see. Is that all that I had there? Um, so like I said, I've been going over to Target and picking up one a month to kind of go ahead and get a new collection and see what the new palettes at uh, Target are like. And so far, I've really been enjoying them. Of course, there's not much in ColourPop that I don't like. Um, and I am the first to admit there's a whole bunch in ColourPop that I just love. So there are new blushes that they have coming out. This one's Papaya, and it's really pretty. Just cruise in is also it's a replacement for my everyday kind of blush and so these are available over at Alta Target and on the ColourPop website so they're really good as well. As far as what I've um, ordered from ColourPop, the Lavish palette, uh, I really like this one. It's um, a purple based on gray and so it's um, really pretty. I found the looks with it to be really great. And um, I did pick up an oldie that I hadn't gotten before, which was Coast Coral. And this one's been out for a long time, but it's new to me. So I really like that one. Um, got a lot of products here. I'm trying not to knock things over. Okay, there we go. And so I got a couple of other palettes. I picked up Heavy Petal, and I really didn't think, again, a ColourPop palette. This one's over at Ulta. I didn't really think I'd like it, but I actually really do like it. And um, let's see, I just got Pretty Please here. Um, I thought that this one would be a good replacement for some of the ColourPop palettes that I have um, that are more... Um, 
neutral and uh, sort of grays and roses and a couple of golds in here. And I found myself really liking this palette as well. And so that pretty much does it as far as ColourPop, other than their glowing lips, I would really recommend as well. I have La Cienga on today, and I really like it. Um, of course, the NYX Thicket Sticket for brows and cool lush brown. And um, I did go ahead and try some hard candy. Uh, these are the face-off. I have the bronzer here. This one is in Sweet Tea, and this is the blush in... Be Real? Yeah, Be Real. And um, what I like about the hard candy is that uh, this is a bronzer. It comes with, with a doe foot, and the packaging is just amazing, really good. It, um, it doesn't get messy. You're not wasting product. It's just really good packaging. And the formulas, I've really liked them. So um, I would definitely go ahead and recommend these as well. As far as Relove Revolution was launched over at Walmart, it's a Revolution line. Everything is $5 and under. Their uh, foundations are going to be, this is a super serum. They also have a different foundation as well, but these are the most expensive. They're $5 uh, their palettes are going to be $3. This one is Manifest. It's an eyeshadow palette with uh, six colors. Uh, contour palettes, they have these in a whole bunch of different shades. Um, this one is actually called Sugar. Euphoric palette um, that is really pretty as well. Uh, blushed. This one is called Cute. And again, all of these are running at $3 a piece. So if you want to try some colorful makeup, but you don't want to, you know, really dive into it, this is definitely a way to do it. This one's called Believe. Again, a six pan eyeshadow. And this one is Soulful. And it's a six pan eyeshadow as well. So um, all of these are going to be uh, three dollars and their blushes contours and um blushes contours eyeshadows and uh bronzes bronzers so um yeah they all um like i said i've been i would recommend this and it's definitely good if you want to you know play with if you haven't really played with makeup and you want to try some, if you want to try some colorful, they have some colorful palettes, so you can go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, She Glam. They came out with bronzes, and She Glam is available on the Sheen website. This is Morning Beam. It's their lightest uh, bronzer. And so this one I've really liked as well. Um, let's see, where else are we going from here? Um, Elf. Elf came out with everything. So Elf took everybody's, uh, Elf duped everybody, duped all the high end everybody. Um, one of the, or probably the most standout product is, for me, was the Halo Glow um, liquid filter. And so I thought that this was just a standout product. I have mine in Fair One and it works really well. Um, I, a couple other products that I like, uh, these, the Halo Glow, I have a highlighter and a blush here. I have Magic Hour and let's see, what's the other one? Oh, Rose Quartz. Really like the product. I don't like the spongy tops. They just, they're just too messy and you waste a lot of product. So I know that they're very popular right now, but I would rather have different packaging, but I love the product. The product is really good. Um, again, same thing with the e.l.f. skin. This is their Woe Glow, it's a SPF 30, and I like it, but it's a really small bottle and I went, or a small squeezy tube and I went through it really quickly. So, um, yeah, I like the product, but with this product, I'd rather get a bigger bottle 
if that makes any sense, um, especially considering I'm using it every day. So, yeah, um, let's see. I replaced a couple of other things. I got the Sky High Mascara by Maybelline, which is still my favorite. Um, the, I got it in Cosmic Black instead of uh, the regular, and I like both. So, yeah, I like both. Um, another hard candy, this just came out. It's their Glow Serum Primer, and it's a glowy primer. Again, another good one there. Um, oh, and some of the Relove Revolution. This is their Baby Gloss, and so it's a lip gloss. It has a lot of pigment to it. They also, in the same size, and these run in about $3, uh, they have baby tints. And the baby tints you can wear on the cheeks and on the lips, so that's a really nice product. Something you don't usually see in the drugstore. Another Relove Revolution is their mascara. Um, so this is Long Lash Lengthening. And this one worked out really well for me as well. So um, that's pretty much my roundup here of drugstore products that I've gotten in the last six months that I really like. Um, there's been a ton of drugstore releases. So I thought I was done, and I'm just not quite done. I um, had a couple more products that I started thinking about. The Legend of Cora. Uh, which is a ColourPop palette that I went ahead and picked up. Um, again, a really pretty palette. And um, let's see, this uh, Garden of Juvia's. This is from Juvia's Place. I'm not sure if it actually fits in drugstore. Um, to me, I always think of Juvia's Place as high-end. But this is a gorgeous palette that I went ahead and picked up as well. Uh, the Winx Club by ColourPop, and I'm not sure where that one ran off to, but that's a great palette as well. And then I did pick up a Profusion palette, the Dreamscape palette. And that one, yet again, the Profusion, first off, their brushes are great. They are they make amazing brushes. And Profusion, you can find in Walmart as well. And so this one is called Dreamscape. This is really new. Um, but so far, I'm really liking it, so I thought it probably should be included as well. And I think that's just about the whole video. Um, that's a lot of drugstore products, a lot of new drugstore products. And um, I think that that's about all there is. And uh, thank you, and have a great day. Bye.